line. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but hasn't Neymar got five years left on his contract? And the thing is with Neymar, Dan, I mean, this, this, I mean, look at that side. I mean, look at the midfield with Paul Pogba, Artur, Locatelli. I mean, it's an amazing side and it would probably make them favourites to try and win the Scudetto next season. But the thing is with Neymar, it's the same old conversation. I've been saying it for years. When you look at talent and talk talent-wise, he probably six, seven, eight years ago was probably only just behind Messi. It was Messi and Neymar. Neymar, talent-wise, was better than everyone in the world apart from Messi. But when you look at people like Harry Kane and Son and Foden, and the players that work defensively, De Bruyne, for example, you know, these guys work when they haven't got the ball. They don't weaken your side. The thing is, well, Neymar, when he's in your side, Dan, he can win you a game. When he doesn't fancy it or he's off it and he's not going to work, he can lose you a game. So at the same time, it's a liability. So are you going to are you going to outlay all that money that's going to cost and potentially upset your dressing room, which Juve has always been built on a strong dressing room, but bringing someone in who you're not quite sure is going to hit it off with everyone and going to be quite selfish because that's what he is. He's an amazing talent, amazing player, great skills, but he's an individual. And I don't think individuals in the game last anymore, I'm afraid. Cristiano Ronaldo fans are going to be all over your DMs, Don, after that comment regarding Messi and Neymar. I thought, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought uh, Cristiano Ronaldo left Juventus because his wages were a burden on their finances and their ownership uh, flaunted themselves uh, regularly and still to this day uh, regarding a Super League because of the finances, they can't compete. Oh, we need a Super League because we don't can't generate the money to compete. So how is this going to work? Yeah. You know I mean, it's like, if you can make this work, you can stick the Super League because it's all one big lie. You know what I mean? So I, I... Do you want to get Gab on? I... <laughs> no. <laughs> PSG, of course, are looking to turn a corner, moving away from bling bling. This is what Al Khalifi, of course, had to say about the future of the club and the direction that he wants to take it in going forward. And this is what he said about Neymar. A possible departure of Neymar this summer, what can I tell you, is that we expect all players to do a lot more than last season. A lot more. We also heard as well, didn't we, from Kylian Mbappe as well, talking in the same sort of sense, saying, of course the Champions League is the goal. This is the clear and announced objective, getting back to the basics and then trying to conquer Europe. This past season, we weren't as fearsome. We are far less untouchable. We want to go back to being intimidating in France, something we have not done these past two years. Oh, 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 they won the league at a canter last year. Uh, yes, but they struggled in their away from home against some of the big sides. I don't think they dominated them as much as they wanted to. <laughs> All right. Well, he's only been in charge for 10 years or so, this <laughs> guy and his people. So, I mean, it's taken them 10 years to figure out the sort of bling-bling. Yeah, but it, it, it's all noise, isn't it? Yeah. Like, what's going to change? Not a lot. Well, they have the new coach in Golf yep. who, according to Jules, is a very hard-nosed taskmaster and... But I think some of the other coaches before have tried. Uh, so we'll see. But it is all noise. It's yeah. all noise. And, uh, and Mbappe's part of that noise anymore. He's been, been bought, it seems. <laughs> He's been bought to sing from the same hymn sheet. I wonder why. Yeah, Don, uh, Don, this is it. If you've got the same personnel, the same players, the same squad with the likes of Neymar in, as much as you come out with all this re rhetoric, I, I just don't mm. understand why saying all this is suddenly going to make people go, oh, yeah, you're right. We need to be more fearsome now. Yeah, I, I don't know where they go, down in all honesty, because you sell Neymar, you're selling a brilliant player. So I, I understand when we watch PSG over the years, we've all watched PSG when they get deep into a Champions League and you think of you know Mbappe and, and, and people like Di Maria who are brilliant players and Neymar, et cetera, et cetera. And you go, they can't. They can't win the top competitions because some of the players, they don't work defensively. Di Maria for Barca, by the, for Juve, by the way, he would be an amazing signing. But going back to Neymar, I don't know what you do. Do you ship him on because your dressing room will be a little bit healthier? Maybe. But if you're going to take some superstar players and lose superstar players, it's going to take you an awful long time to try and get closer to a Champions League final. So it just keeps, it feels like to me that just the wheels just keep turning and they never, ever get closer to where they want to be. As, as, the, as the owner said, they want to dominate the Champions League. And Mbappe said they want to dominate the Champions League. That ain't going to happen. I just got a vision of Mbappe shaking Messi in the dressing room, telling him he needs to dominate. You think so? And be fearsome, <laughs> and, and, and more fearsome in the league. And he's lying there with his uh, flip flops on, putting the sun cream on, saying, "I'm getting 50, 50 million a year, or whatever it is." Yep. So you know, it, it is what it is. They've made their own bed with these signings, and they're going to have to lie on it. I think the one thing 
uh, in their favour this year to an extent for the start of the season is, and I'm not suggesting Messi wasn't uh, wasn't trying, I didn't have the right attitude, but he certainly wasn't at his best. But he does have three or four months of a start of a season to really get himself in shape for the World Cup. Yes. And yeah. that might be good yeah. for PSG. Uh, indeed. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.